Hey, it's your boy DJ Wolf here. Uh, let's get the show started. <clears throat> All right. Um, give me a second. I'm trying to get my bearings here because this has been a one of those days. Mm. Mm. Trust me, I said one of those days. I mean, it's just one of those days. Mm. Well, anyway, today it. Is, oh, this thing won't clear. It's been one of those days. Um, I was thinking about something. Why wow, today was one of those days? Um, you know, I've said it before. I say it again. This modern society capes, and I do mean capes, all day for uh, the queen. Black queen. Now don't get me wrong. I think the world of my baby. I really do. I think the world of her. That's, 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 that's my word. But you have people who tend to be jealous of that kind of thing when you, you're in a relationship, a good relationship, you and your woman or whatever, or if you're a woman, you and your relationship with yourself and your man, people tend not to like that. There are people out there who, you know, who, who ain't involved with anybody like that or somebody who might have been willowed, willowed or divorced and they tend to use it against you sometimes. Trust me, I know. And uh, they'll harbor it they may not exactly harbor ill feelings towards you, but they won't show it. They might do other things. They may show like a lean, leniency uh, towards one person over the other. I've seen that happen too. And sometimes that can create friction and division. Um, and I, let me try to go a little bit further into that. Like for example, um, I talked about how uh, a lot of the, the, the black churches today well many churches period but uh, I have to specifically talk about black churches because those are the ones I know about those are the ones I've been going to for pretty much all my life uh, except my grandmother's church uh, which used to be uh, was a Methodist church which was kind of half and half but that's another story nevertheless um, I tend to say that um, because it's true uh, the black church, the modern black church, uh, they are goal oriented towards uh, women. They're goal oriented towards working, uh, at least a lot of them, at least the ones I've been to, goal oriented were the, not only just the membership, many of the members are female, but it gears this whole. Uh, a lot of uh, what they do there towards women. It's like the men are cut out. But it ain't just with churches. <laughs> it's with many other organizations. Um, But here's the other thing. We still continue to live that uh, mantra of the black woman is God. Now, I, I I was looking over some old uh, YouTube uh, podcast that I did, a sprinkle podcast where I had a couple of people challenge me on it. Talk about the who else can have a woman and a man out of them, born out of them, a woman. Therefore, the woman is God. And I challenged them back. I said, "Well, how do you think the woman got pregnant by herself?" So that makes her God because she can have both men and women. That makes no sense. Because you cannot bear children by yourself. Something had to impregnate you in order for you to have them. 
okay? There was a scientific study, to my knowledge. I don't know who does, who came out with the actual scientific study, but there was a scientific study that showed that uh, civilization came from a woman. Now, I, I cannot dispute. I cannot claim it. I've read some stuff about it. But they were saying because modern civilization was traced, the civilization was traced back to a woman. Well, we know women, women give life, but you can't give life unless there is a way for you to have gotten it to receive it so you can keep it in the womb. That's with all forms of life. At some point, there's a male and a female female counterpart for each life that is conceived. We all know this, you know. So if the woman is God, she can't be God by herself. There had to be a God to give her <laughs> to give her ability to have babies in order for her to have them. Okay, but this is where our sisters' heads are up in the clouds about that in the Me Too movement. It's like there is a division to try to create a division between men and women in this country. People have said that. But particularly in our case, black women and black men. There's no doubt about that. You got women today, I, I, and I talked about it before. There was a woman on the reality show that I watched. Um, where the woman, young woman, was talking about having kids on her wet life. She said she did not want to have the traditional kids. She actually said that. She did not want to tr do the traditional way of having children. And she, I don't think she was a dyke. I don't, well, it doesn't matter if she was not. She just did not want to have kids the traditional way. She uh, And it meant to wanting to have a test tube baby. She said that. So basically, she don't care where sperm comes from. She just want to have a baby. Now, she wasn't like no 11, 12, 13 years old saying that. This woman was 24, 25, 26 years old. Making that ridiculous statement that I, I consider ridiculous. You know. She didn't want to go ahead and have instant gratification to have the baby. The baby being a commodity. To me, that's the way I look at it. You didn't want the baby because you want a baby, to, a, 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 a person to raise. You want the baby because you want the baby as a commodity. So you can say, oh, that's my kid. There are black, black women who have that very small mind centered frame of mind and y'all talking about y'all God? Bullshit. Just because you had the ability to have kids doesn't make you a God or a goddess. Okay? It don't. Just because you a man or a black man doesn't necessarily, doesn't necessarily mean you had the ability to play basketball. See what I'm saying? See what I mean? You know, it's just stupid. It's just stupid. Oh, the woman that our God, she is God because she can have babies. Dumbest thing I ever heard. And I almost told that YouTuber that too. I said, no, nah, I'm not going. To. But the next time, I'm going to tell you right now. That's my word. The next time I hear somebody say some stupid shit like that again, that's the first thing I'm going to tell them. That's the dumbest thing I ever heard. Unless you got solid proof, shut the fuck up. You know, I'm tired of goofy mess, man. You know, we all we we're in, 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 in our communities, especially. No matter where you go, whether it be church, party, uh, school, whatever, we are always expected to exalt our black women, never our black men. Always exalt our black women. I don't give a fuck. They, they, they don't give a fuck where they came from, how many kids they got, or what they what they are or are not doing for their kids and their community. They can care less. Exalt your women. Man, see that's the small-minded, absent-minded shit. But when it, with guys, you won't exalt men like that. No, you evaluate each guy. So why you can't do the same thing for women instead of just putting everybody, in, all the women, on the pedestal? That's bullshit. Sorry, that's bullshit. Now don't get me wrong. I'm not a woman hater. When I was very young, I didn't know anybody. Yeah, but now I, you know I, I love me some women. You know, but when I say I was I was a woman hater at the time, I didn't understand women. Because I felt they didn't understand me. I was, I was younger, a lot younger than I am now. Um, but I really didn't hate women. I just didn't like how they were, were you know, treating me at the time. That's a long story. 
I'm going in. I, I've, I've gotten better. Anyway, uh, but when I was watch these fools here who always try to come across as they see you going trying to get older. Really? But nevertheless, though, real talk. I uh, I don't get. It. Men, I think, have always had, on to a degree, I ain't gonna say we had a harder, but I do know that we are more responsible. We we have we hold a, accountability. We're holding accountable for a lot of stuff that we do. Women generally aren't. I'm I'm sorry. I mean, you know, I'm not saying women don't have a hard time in life and stuff like that, but when it comes to accountability, women generally are not held accountable like that, like men are. They're not. That's a fact. They're not, period. End of discussion. Men throughout history have always been accountable for their actions. Women to this day are not. Nope. It's a shame that they're not because they call themselves equals. They want to be equal in everything they do like men, yet they're not accountable for stuff like men are. Isn't that kind of an oxymoron statement to do have women accountable for boy, that's the closest I've ever seen a plane. Up close. Have women be uh, less accountable than men, yet women want equal rights and equal pay to men. That makes no damn sense to me at all. Then you should be held accountable for your actions in everything you do. That includes having children. If you have more than three kids that you can't take care of, then you got a problem. You know, and I mean, problem means hey, you gonna start paying child support to the fathers or something like that, or you know, you, you should be paying additional taxes because you had more kids than you could afford. You know, and when I say more than the kids you can afford, it means have all these kids out of wedlock. Yeah, hold your ass accountable. You know, you know, back in the day, people did do that. All kind of organizations would hold women accountable for that kind of stuff. Having kids out of wedlock and stuff. I'm talking about having them out of wedlock by the pound, too. Like this one woman. 15 kids! I think one baby daddy, but supposedly she had 15 kids with two guys, which I don't believe. She wasn't even married to either one of those guys. But I think later on she was a big she might have been married with one. But still, it's a lot of damn kids. And then talking about going to talking about this bitch going to give me the The government, this is y'all, y'all need to take care of all these kids. You know? See, it's women like that that reverts our culture back a hundred years. Yeah. Oh yeah, I said it. Yep, I said it. I meant what I said too. You know, and then people be caping for them. Fertility queens, as one dumb man said. Fertility queens. Fertility queen, my nuts, nigga. That was just stupid as hell. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just really pissed off when I heard that. Four years later, I'm still pissed off about that. But it was still the statement. Insulted our sisters, and the sisters attacked me for, for, the, uh, for, for getting at his ass for insulting them. And they defended him. Dumbass chicks, man. Dumbass women. It was a, it was some dumbass women to, to do that. It really was. They were dumb as hell. Yeah. Got mad at me for defending them. I just. Sometimes, boy, I tell you, some people in this world, I swear, I, I just don't get them. Some things in this world just never are never meant to be understood, and that's one of them. <laughs> I can rest assured of that. But um, on a serious note, man, I think, and this is my, this is me. I think if we learn to get along better and love each other the way we should, man, this world would be a better place. But unfortunately, it's not. We still got drama. We got still got strife and stress and violence and and everything else that we needed to take care of, man. Love is a powerful word. It's a good word if you use it right. 
but people use love for all the wrong reasons anymore now. You know? I just wish we didn't. All right, guys, this is DJ Wolf. That's all I got. Uh, of course, I got more to say on the back burner, but I'll talk to you guys later. I'm out.